The bees are coming. It's time to suit up for eye science. Mm. Hi, I'm Donald White and welcome to iScience. Today we're going to get the buzz on bees. I have a special guest here with me, uh, Mr. Craig Exner from Moreland Elementary. Mr. Exner, thank you so much for having us here on your farm. We're standing in front of several hundred thousand bees and we're going to talk a little bit about bees and, and what they do for us. We want to answer a question today from one of our students at Moreland Elementary and Miss Whitney Olvey's class. That student asked, why do bees buzz? Mr. Exner, I know that bees buzz because of the vibration of their wings, but in talking to you, I, I, I'm hearing that there's some interesting things going on with the bees buzz itself. Um, I, tell me about the differences in the buzzing that you'll hear from the bees uh, based on the type of bee and, and all of that type of stuff. Some of the noises there, the joints of their body vibrating with each other, obviously most of it's the wings. But a, when a girl bee, a worker bee comes in and out of the hive, I can tell by her sound it's a, it's a lower pitched. Uh, the male bees is a louder sound and it's a, it's, a, it's a lot stronger vibration you hear when a boy comes in. Besides flying, um, what, what do bees do with their wings that's interesting? Um, this time of year as the hive gets hotter, they'll begin to stand at the entrance of the hive with their rear end in the air and fan and pull air through the hive, kind of like an attic fan. It's very similar to that. Also they'll do that to dehydrate the honey. Um, they want to pull air through the hive to help to de dehydrate the honey. And also if a hive swarms, if I catch a swarm and put it in a box, when the, hot, when the queen is in there, the girls will get out front and spread the pheromone out for the, for the other bees to smell to say, Mama's here, come on home. Oh, all right, so they, so they use that uh, for communication too. Right. Also, I also heard something about a bee dance, that inside the hive, the, the, the worker bees come in and will actually do a dance inside the hive to, to right. communicate with the rest of the hive. Talk a little bit about that. Um, nectar or pollen source. They'll, the, their, their dance will tell how far away it is, the height of it, and the, the intensity of it, how much nectar is there, to tell the other girls what we gotta do and how we gotta make best use of that source All right. of energy. I know we're, we're standing here in front of the bees, and, and um, some people think of bees as being dangerous, but they're actually very beneficial to the environment. Can you talk a little they bit about it? If you look out through here, these are all blueberry bushes, and probably three weeks ago, those were all covered in blueberry blossoms. Now the flower's gone and they're forming small berries. They have to be visited by enough bees to become berries, to become pollinated. So if the bees don't visit the flowers, the flowers don't become the berries. Correct. So, so without the bees, we don't have any blueberries or strawberries right. or any of those other things that we like to have. I've heard um, numbers tossed around like every third bite is thanks to a bee. Every third bite is thanks to a bee. For, from pollination. So, so maybe next time a bee lands on us, we shouldn't swat at them, we should say thank you. Right. <laughs> All right. Mr. Exner, bees sound so interesting and I'd love to know more about them. If, if I was a student in Coweta County or a parent in Coweta County, where would I go to find out about more about bees? Uh, students, there's an active 4-H club that they've just started just recently and there's a, a Coweta County Beekeepers site for adults. Um, they meet once a month. The 4-H club meets once a month as well. Special thanks to uh, Miss Olvey's class at Moreland Elementary for the question. Remember that if you have questions, please send them to me and uh, we'll try and get them on the air for you. That's all for today's iScience. Uh, stay tuned for more interactive science on CowetaTV.com. The I in iScience stands for interactive. We produce the show with you in mind. So if you have any questions or demonstrations that you'd like to see, please send me an email and I'll get them on the air for you.